live from a new cafe to me. Hi, Monica. See if anybody can guess where I am. You'll know in just a second. I'm on top of St. Peter's Basilica today. So I have to wear the mask because it's a public spot. There's no tables. You just heard the bells. And I'm gonna turn you around so you're not just staring at me in a mask, but hello everyone. Gorgeous day here in Rome. Yes, the Vatican Cafe. It's very windy. So hopefully uh, the mic I'm using will block some of the wind. Now I have a confession to make, and that is that I've already had my second cup because I can't very well carry around coffee and a phone at the same time. But there's a cafe on the roof. There's a cafe and there's a gift shop. So not a lot of people know that, I guess, unless you've been on the roof. So hi to everybody joining. Showing you around the roof of St. Peter's Basilica. Oh, my mom's here. Hi, mom. Can't hear the wind. Good. So down there is St. Peter's Square. I don't know if I can, you can kind of see St. Peter's Square down there, right? You can see the obelisk. Ciliazione, you can see the castle, Castle Sant'Angelo. And so we thought, since it's such a gorgeous day, why not bring you up here while the weather still allows it? You can see all the statues of the Apostle, Jesus. You used to be able to walk out here. The first time I came here, 21 years ago, we could walk all the way around the roof but they've had this fence up for a long time. So now you have to have special permission. There's a guy that's sitting in a box over there that can take people out and also make sure that nobody jumps over the fence. So welcome to Second Cup Saturday, the Vatican edition. I am on the roof of St. Peter's Basilica. Oftentimes they'll be like a one hour wait to get up here, but no wait today because there are no people. You can see the statues, the apostles right there. If you were here at the beginning, let's see if I can get this through there. There you go. This is the, uh, the bell right here. So if you're here at the beginning, we'll hear it again in about 15 minutes. But uh, I'm standing right over the bell tower. But I came up here today because it's a gorgeous day, as you can see. And there's a cafe, so you can have coffee on the roof of St. Peter's Basilica. Now, most people, when they come up here, they pay the 10 euro to take the elevator to the roof, which is right here. And when you come up to the roof, you actually you you come out inside the dome and you can look down into the church above the Baldacchino. And then you take, I think it's 302 steps all the way to the top. And I'll zoom in up there. All the way to the top. And you can come out there behind that grate and get a great 360 degree view of Rome. It is tight in there, so it's not for the claustrophobic, especially near the end. You end up with, if it's crowded, like one person right in front of you, one person right behind you. But it's a gorgeous view. And not a lot of people realize this, but you see at the tip top of the dome, there's the cross. And right below that is a big golden ball. So I'm probably gonna make you dizzy if I keep zooming in this much. I'll zoom out now. That ball, weighs 4,000 pounds 
and you can actually go inside it. Well, you can't, but people can go inside that ball and it'll blow your mind if I tell you how many people that can fit in there. So again, I'm zooming in. You can see, you can see a couple people there walking around where the grade is, right? So you can see kind of perspective of what a person looks like. So inside that golden ball is a room that can hold 16 people. 16 people can fit in that golden ball. And so there's, there's stories you can read about it, but heads of state used to go up there. It was considered like a very VIP area to go visit. Um, I don't think people do that anymore, but you used to be able to go up there and visit the golden ball. Pretty crazy. So up here, that's the cafe. This is one of the little domes. Uh, where am I? Um, no. Okay, if I was on the other side, there's another dome on the opposite side of where the gift shop and cafe is, uh, I'd be over the Pieta. But right now I am over the, uh, the baptismal font. That's where I am. So if I were to go into that window and rappel down, I would land on the baptismal font. I don't think they would appreciate that. Actually, look right here. I'll zoom in. It's labeled baptistry. That's pretty cool. I never noticed that before that they label all these things. So this is the gift shop. Here's another little dome. So this would be the one over Pius the 10th. Oh, this is a great place to stop because today is the feast of the presentation. This is the altar of the presentation. So today is the presentation of Mary. So why don't we say a prayer real quick? We'll say a Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Look at that. We said a Hail Mary right over the altar of presentation on that feast day in St. Peter's Basilica. Or on St. Peter's Basilica, rather. That's pretty cool. You can see the, see the uh, little Vatican coat of arms from the different popes and the different... Well, I guess they're all different popes. I can't tell what they are. I can't make them out. And so this next little dome, what would that be? This would be the wedding chapel. So this would be the, uh, the dome over the wedding chapel. You don't get to see the wedding chapel today, but you can see the dome above the wedding chapel. Oh, and there's my family. They climbed the dome. I did not. Yeah, this is the wedding chapel. Uh, it's actually the choir chapel. That's why it says Coro. So this is the choir chapel, but it's also the chapel where people can get married. So if you ever want to get married in St. Peter's Basilica, this is where it'll happen, right below this dome. And of course, that's the main dome right there, Michelangelo's dome. And it's under restoration, and from what I understand, it's going to be covered in scaffolding for a couple years because they have a lot of work to do, cleaning, um, I'm sure other places do this too, but especially in Rome or in Italy, they often put pictures of what's behind whatever they're cleaning. And yeah, I'm sure that other places do that too, but it's so that you can kill, still kind of see what's up there. So that's the dome right there. And then where are we now? What would this be? This would be Transfiguration? No, Transfiguration doesn't have a dome. This is the dome over uh, Gregory the Great. So this will be the dome that's over the tomb of Gregory the Great. Little stairways here. More great views. What's down here? This would be 
Okay, so that's like the main dome over where the choir chapel is. And then this would be, I guess, the back side of the chapel. I don't know. Never paid attention back here. Uh, it's my dream to someday have you go on tour with me as well. I'm just reading through the comments here. Yes, Kathleen, we're still praying for that special intention. What a day to be up here. You can see the mountains in the distance. Blue skies, really nice wind, crisp fall wind. Let's go look over here. Oh, I need to get back to the other side soon so you can hear the bells again. All right, what's over here? I'm holding you pretty high up. I can't actually see through here. Um, so that is, I think, the sacristy, that little dome there. Yeah, that's the sacristy. So if you ever come to Mass here, that's where the priests are vested and then they come into the church. That big ugly building there is the Paul VI Auditorium. It's where they hold indoor papal events. And you can see here, that building there, that is where the Pope lives. So often when I um, point out the Apostolic Palace, I say this is traditionally where the Pope lives, but the Pope... Pope Francis lives in the hotel in the Vatican. So that building was restored by John Paul II, and you can see it's a bunch of rooms. And so his intention was that is where cardinals will stay when they are in Rome for the conclave. And so that's how it's used, but it's also a hotel. Um, they used to even have a listing on TripAdvisor. Uh, so it was possible to stay there. You really kind of had to know somebody, have an inn, um, it's a lot harder now that Pope Francis lives there. So after he was elected, uh, he just took the bus back with everyone else, back to the hotel for the night. And then the next day they took him to the Apostolic Palace and he said, I think it's it goes something like he said it was too big or something like that. And so he said he just wanted to stay at the hotel. So some people think it's because he didn't want a place that was very fancy. Um, but really... He just wanted to be around the people because if you're staying in the Apostolic Palace, of course, there's no people. You're secluded. You're the Pope. Um, but if you're staying in a hotel, you know, priests stay here. The bishops stay here when they're visiting. Um, family of the gardeners of the Vatican, they can stay here. And so you can, you know, be around the church, be around your people. And I've known people that have stayed there. I can't stay there. I don't know the right people. But I've had friends that stay there and they see Pope Francis in the breakfast room which I think is just nuts. Okay, it's getting really windy right now. Hopefully this isn't picking up on the mic. Um, let's see, used my driver for your cousin's diaconate. That's great. Morning coffee. Yeah, I wish I had my second cup right now. Actually, it would be like my third cup because it's cold. My hands are freezing. Yep, I'm on the roof of St. Peter's for those just joining. Second Cup Saturday today is from the cafe on the rooftop of St. Peter's Basilica. So the cafe is right over there. There's also a gift shop. There's my kids. Um, where are they going? I'm going to get my kids to come over here to hear the bells. Amelia, come listen to the bells. All right, I'm going to take you over to the bells so that we can hear them ring as we're standing on top of them. Oh, look, I never noticed this before. The gold paint inside the tip top of the dome. So if you're standing in St. Peter's Basilica, again, at the altar of the presentation, and you looked up, you would see the windows, and then there's like, there's actually art on the top. Um, but it's painted gold, I never noticed. Here, come feel the bells. Yeah, come on. You won't be able to feel them because you're on the other side of the world. But if we stand over here while the bells are ringing, we can feel the building shake. Unfortunately, these are the three o'clock bells, so there's only three bells. But if it was noon or something, then it would really be powerful. Yeah, there's a normal Italian cafe bar on the roof. Now, they do serve the coffee in plastic cups. 
so you don't get to hear the fun sounds of the cafe. Okay. Yep, these are the bells. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Now you won't actually see them move because they don't, they're not, it's not Easter or anything, so they're not going to be ringing like normal bells. They just kind of, there we go. still vibrating. Really cool. So if you time it right, on your next visit to Rome, you can come up here for 12 o'clock bells. All right, so... No, I can't go over there. That's closed. The roof of St. Peter's Basilica. On a gorgeous all day. All right. Well, that's it for Second Cup Saturday today. I don't have much news. Rome is still yellow. Still doing well here. Tom Cruise is back filming. Still working on Mission Impossible 2. Uh, no church news. Oh, family news. Not really family news, but tonight is my patrons event cooking class so if any of you want to sign up to be a patron you have about what is that three hours in three hours we're going to teach you how to make bucatini amatriciana from my own kitchen so you can sign up there on my website catholictraveler.com so hope you enjoyed this i'm going to sign off now Oh, my mom wants to know why Tom Cruise can come here, but not her. I think it comes down to money. Uh, yes, there is still a gift shop up here. Gift shop in cafe. So, hope you enjoyed. Share this with all your friends. Tell them I said hi. And I'll talk to you soon. Maybe I'll see you tonight while we're cooking. Ciao.